Hello again, welcome back to you and I play... Um, I was going to say something funny, but didn't have enough time. Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, just fill it in for yourselves, make it up. We killed Tim and Pete. Well, we... You killed I feel like Tim I and killed Tim and Pete. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call this... Please stress in the game. I'm going to... Uh, point 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, sort of, in honour of the short-lived Tim version 1, who was a seeker jester, slain by an impossible <laughs> fight on the very first mission oh, that man. he undertook. Uh, the sole survivor from the original, from the crew that we took with us. No, yeah. I survived as well. I mean, the sole, the sole new person who actually came out of it with anything at all, is now the new Tim. What were they before? Just a uh, name. Oh, right. So that was just a random name. And this might as well be... <laughs> so that's going to be our new Pete. But we do have a occultist, finally. So there's two choices. Not that I'm giving you the choice, <laughs> oh, based no. on what Hell happened no. last time. Hell no. <laughs> we either take in... Don't let me anywhere near your roster selection. Our favourite team, except... Obviously Pete is now Dutch, but to be fair, Pete wasn't that much use. Uh, or maybe with one of these semi-leveled people. Maybe a Houndmaster Snowden? Go to the ruins. Uh, or... On you... Like we could take... All of these people. Dutch has got this rabies thing going on, which is fine, because it's just less likely to hit, but harder when you do hit. Could go to the cove. He's a, a crossbow guy, though, right? Surely accuracy is important for that. Accuracy is kind of important, but you can buff it with trinkets. Mostly, is what I do. Yeah. Let's let's uh let's click on here and see what we've got. Our choices are the Warrens, which is a short skirmish mission where we beat the shit out of everything. We get a Houndmaster trinket. It's kind of nice. We go to the ruins, which is a medium one, so that'll be a uh, quite a long walk. It's a hundred percent as well. It's also room battles. There's two in the wield. What's this? Move resist. Less move resist, more dodge. This is 25 damage if below 33. So when you get beaten down, you stress out and rage. Uh, and a move amulet, move skill chance, move resist. That's kind of nice, because I do have some move skills that I use quite a lot. But I think what we'll do, maybe we'll take a short skirmish to the Warrens and just beat up everything, feel better for ourselves. Yeah. Oh, I haven't done so. I've just noticed this. Do these levels level up as well? Yes. Um, every ah. time you beat the... I think uh, level 2 is the first boss. It just basically caps the level of things in them. I see. So who should we put in our third slot? That's really the thing. Most of these people haven't been out for a while. I do like having Jekry in the third position. The play grenade and the uh, bleed here. Pretty good. And then we've got this to remove blights and bleeds. We did actually get quite a lot of blight mm. on the ruins when I said that we sh we wouldn't. I think it's because we got unlucky with the skeletons that showed up. Mm. Can you I'm unlock really those like skills with padlocks on them eventually? Yeah, you can buy them. Ah, okay. So everyone can have all of them, but you can only take four with you. Right. Although you can respect during the mission, because this one hasn't got one, you see. So I can oh, turn right, on, okay. Turn on. But I actually like this spec, and I think Jekry could turn out to be quite a strong character hmm. over time. So we'll put Jekry in the third position, and we'll go to who's the usual suspect. Shush so apparently we've done this before, <laughs> uh, but we should check trinkets. Uh, Ed, I recently discovered or sort of came to understand that um, the, the Crusader has this bulwark of faith thing. Where you mark yourself and also give yourself a high protection percentage, which is essentially saying, "Hey, hit me," and then stealing yourself up for said hits, drawing right. fire. So it's a tank thing. Yeah, which I hadn't really grokked for quite a while because, you know, it seems that the enemies just hit anybody. So how? What's the point in having a tank at the front? Uh, it turns out that yeah. <laughs> minus two dodge is fine on a on on Ed if we're going to give him. A stun resist. Uh, I think stun resist is better on a healer, to be fair. And we've also got this 15% uh, 
Where's my 15% heal skills? I can never remember what it looks like, so I never use it in this one. That's going to be good for Yon, uh, for D there. I think we've uh, leveled up all of these. Uh, judgment 1, we haven't. Let's go back to here. Drop D in the guild. I think D was on a bender when I <laughs> upgraded everyone else. So we want... Oh, so you can upgrade... You get a lot of things you can do. Yeah. In this, in terms of, like, specs. Specking yourself up. Illumination is... I think I want the stun to be uh, upgraded. That's this one. Yeah. Yes, you can. And we can upgrade the guild to get these So what's the criteria to get up to that next level of skills? We have to be that level. But you also need... Actually, Hero Resolve level... So this is the one we need now, so we need more paintings. We can actually uh, trade them, which is new. But we've got to get 15 and we have two, so that's going to be right. expensive. And of course we still need 38 of those. But when that's unlocked, then we can unlock these. Oh, I see. And we can start sending our level two... So this is sort of the strategy layer of the game. You've got to collect these things, upgrade these things, and then upgrade the... So you have to upgrade your town, then upgrade your heroes yeah. in the town. It's a synergistic relationship. So I'm going to upgrade everything that we're about to use. On Jekry. So welcome to... I mean, you have got quite a lot of one cash. Yes, but we spend it really fast when we yeah. provision. So we decided that you have got those. You're going to take... What do you think? Bleed? We have got incision on there, so we should take a bleed amulet, which is a bleed stone. Slightly less speed, I think that's okay. Minus four dodge. I think having a good bleed chance on this is going to make this my bleed. That puts his dodge at, like, nothing. Yeah. I see, that's a really... That's, like, 90%. I think you might be right. I mean, there's no real need to necessarily... Take two trinkets. Plague Doctor. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> Doesn't have a negative thingy, so we should take it, even if we never yeah, actually yeah. end up using it. Uh, you can take crit and stress. That's fine. That's me. I'm okay with that. And oh, it is you. Look at you with your bad self. Check my bad self. With your gun and your knife and your scarf and your ministry of sound. Uh, so you, I put the protection one on Ed. And the HP one on Ed, so Ed's going to be really slow, <laughs> but that's okay. It's going to have to be okay because it's happening. And then what? Um, why aren't you using that ring? Because that keeps flashing up as a very rare, but I never see you put it on anything. It's protection, max HP, but you are weaker and more stressed out. Oh, I see. We've got yeah, okay. Five percent prop. With I just did, I wasn't looking at it that closely, and I assumed the plus ten percent stress damage was a good thing. I thought anything that would be plus. Yeah, you've got to watch out for that. It's really easy to. Yeah. But it means like you I'd take rather more have it stress with, damage. I'd rather okay. call it stress resist, basically. Yeah. I mean, that's what you can expect. Let's let's just take this this uh, usual suspects to this short mission, beat it up, get three thousand gold and some. Well, you do burn through it, don't you? Your gold. Yeah. We'll take eight torches. We. Know, I'm pretty sure these ones will survive the end of it if it gets dark. If you bring this stuff back from the end of the mission, do you get a small refund? Hmm. Uh, where are we going? Warrens. So that's probably some of that and one more of that. Kind of want to take one more, one more of these, but... Nah. Oh, we always take a shovel or two. So, yeah, we've burned through like 6,000 just getting ready. Hmm. 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 Yeah, disease and blight. So you want some anti-venom, but we've also got the Plague Doctor who can remove hmm. those things in the battle. Provided that you know <laughs> you actually get a go, and I'm stunned. A, a lot of depth. Like Godly when I first saw videos about this, I thought it seemed fairly simplistic, just because I only really watched like the tutorial stuff where it's just click on an enemy, do the thing. Yeah. But actually, the, a lot of the depth is not necessarily in the battles, but in the setup. Yeah, it's outside the dungeons, really. What the shit is that? Well, that's a thing, and that's another thing, and that's a thing you think. So, down here on the bottom right, it tells you the skills that you've seen it use to date. Oh, that's good. Uh, which gives you some indication. So there's a blight on that one. There's a bleed and a stun and a move. And this one, I, I'm pretty sure this one has a stress attack, but obviously I've not seen it use it yet. Right. So we should start off probably by trying to bleed something. Or maybe 
disorienting something? Is this a stun? And a shuffle, that's really good. So do we stun this one, which is marking and probably stressful, this one? Which is... I think that one because it's damage and we want to avoid damage more than... Thanks for the move resist. Right, you, which is me, can just start opening up on it. Boom! That's 8 damage. Nice. <laughs> and it resisted the bleed, which is a shame because it only has 1 HP left. Yeah. So that is a debuff resist, but the mark is okay. I think we'll live with that for now. What do marks do? Usually they work with either the same unit or another unit to cause that unit to be targeted by something. Right. Uh, well, you have a go, so I will hit you. <laughs> no, you don't have a go. Hooray. Unfortunately, there is a corpse in the way, which means we don't move the units around, which means our attacks don't necessarily actually hit anything else. So I'm going to mark myself with some protection. Yes. Try and overcome that mark. This is the thing you were talking about before we came into the mission. Indeed. So that... Yeah, there's your stress attack. So even though it says down here... Oh! Now we've just learned about Drums of Doom. So I was right, there is a stress attack. Oh. And we have not seen it until just now. I'm going to try bleeding everything, basically. You've got a stun resist, which is fine. That just prevents you from having a stun lock. Uh, we don't need medicine right now, and we've got a proper healer. So I think we just stack up the bleeds on this. It's fine. <laughs> Look, this is our palate cleansing mission yeah. from the previous <laughs> one where we ate Notice shit. Notice this is going really well, and I had zero input on the team. <laughs> wow. This is what happens when you upgrade your units it's and then send them on it. I was genuinely impressed by that. <laughs> Just like, wow. Oh, wow, man. Wow. When you send them on a mission that they're overpowered for, <laughs> but they still go. It will get to the point where they're high enough level that they will refuse to do missions because they consider them trivial. Oh, really? Please die. <laughs> we might as well, like, heal you. Sure. Which is me. Which is you. But not you. And then we'll do a party heal and then everyone gets topped up. Oh, nice. And we're good. And then you'll die anyway, so whatever. Bye! <laughs> 15 damage, 1 HP. So yeah, we're doing alright here. This is the party I would have probably taken on a dark mission, so I might do that later when... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, point taken. Honestly, I just completely took the wrong party. I had a plan. I basically stuck to it. I mean, your inclusion in that party didn't necessarily make much of a difference to the original plan. Well, yeah, because I had a low light thing, right? I'm pretty sure we looked at that. Hold up. Finding the Yo. Stop is on the <laughs> first my headphone back. Oh, trap. My bad. Jackie wasn't paying attention. Ah, he said so much lore then. Like, you missed so much story in that 30 seconds. Well, I'll just watch the video back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we're recording right. it. The promise of safety. Now, the thing here is we have to do 90% of room battles. 100% of room battles. I didn't know there wasn't a battle in that room, so now I've got to suffer the indignity and stress of walking all the way back. And it is indignant and stressy. To be fair, I get stressed walking back on myself. There's nothing worse than going somewhere and realising you've like, forgotten something. Or well, there's no point being all here. All the way back, uh, let's and then click all on. the way back to where you were going in the first place. It's a bugger. It seems to take twice as long on the way back, and three times as long on the way back there again. There has been literally no interest in the journey on the return because we did everything. Yeah. Right. This is where we started. You can tell by the gaping sewage pipe that we entered <laughs> through. Apparently, right. We've actually scouted here, so we should probably not walk into that trap. And I'll make sure the torch is high before we walk into this. How do you how do you avoid a trap then? Well, if you see it, you can disarm it before you step on it. If you don't see it, you don't. Will it literally be a graphic something laying on the screen? You can see it there. Oh, that. Okay. Uh, right. We are starting with Jet Cream, who has got a lot of. Well, probably walked into the trap and took damage from it. We will bleed. Uh, I mean, I feel like I should actually disorient this because that's a stressy type mm. feature. You can see at the bottom. I recognise that. From okay. From mission one, well, probably one of the first things we ran into because they exist a lot in the ruins. Yeah. Uh, okay, you've actually skipped your go, which makes me happy. But now we kill you. Very close. Open. Yes. Two damage. Three HP. I'm just going to use D as a straight up healer. Uh, she could have done some damage there, but actually that was less than Checkridge remaining HP. So feel okay about that. Zealous Accusation is 6 to 11, so it could kill that and will almost certainly kill that provided it hits. Yeah. Good rolls, good rolls. Of course, you're still back there. 
There's no. Move forward? No. Okay. Now the um the disorientation blast that Jeffrey had to open with will actually destroy those corpses. Bring oh, everything yes. forward. So that may be worth having a go at if we can't really do anything else. But we actually seem to be getting everybody else <laughs> to go first. Can you incise that? No. Clear all corpses. We'll do that. May do sufficient damage, or at least keep it. No, we haven't got any damage over time on it. But it was stunned, which means it didn't get a go, which means we get to... Nice. Once again, massively overkill it. I mean, look, we've only managed to pick up 600 gold so far. I see. And you spent like four grand on this. Yeah. 100%. Do you get like a bonus for completing the mission? There's a reward specified on the right. on the mission select screen, which is about 3,000, I think, for this mission. Okay. But it doesn't make up for the amount that we spent. And of course, this thing earns us 250. So it's not completely just that. But I would really like to use <laughs> any of these things that I brought. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yeah, GG. Good thing Ed was paying some attention, yeah? Alright, so we'll put some... Uh, we didn't bring any medicinal herbs. Or herbs, if you watch Herb. the, the Canadians. Oh, God, I hate myself for saying that. <laughs> I've watched so many... Like, uh, uh, Left Pondians play this game. What? Left Pondians. What the hell is it? There's the people on the left-hand side of the pond. Americans. Yeah, and Canadian. Right. <laughs> I've never heard that phrase before. Left Pondians. Left Pondians. So, we've got some so we're right Pondians. All the way up. Yes, we are. Oh. Uh, but it sounds correct to say herbs, because that's what they say every single time they talk about it. <laughs> Torch, please. Thank you. Well, it's like when you hear uh, an English accent on an American show. It really stands out, even though in theory that should be the one that sounds normal to you and all the rest yeah. should sound... Let's just start wailing away on these sons of a bitches. I was trying to think of the best thing to do, but it was, you know, my my characters go. All I can do is stab things or shoot things. <laughs> stab them in the face. I keep telling you, my football coach told me. Two damage per round for three rounds. Kind of. Also, ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. This is a good time to use this. Because this is a, a very good light. Four damage per round. Fortunately, they still get to go. So maybe I should have done what I was thinking of doing, which is to stun them. No. But we're doing so well. D hasn't even had an opportunity to do anything yet. Yeah. Fuck off, stabby man. Shank. Oh, that worked. You're bleeding. Stop it. You can just deal with it. Now, blanket fire is a fairly low accuracy shot, so we did have a good chance of dodging that, but... Didn't. As a result, we didn't. Yeah. Party heal is... successfully sufficient, I think. That's what I was going for with that. You are not dead. That's a bad thing. What is this? One fucking HP. Do you know what? A grape shot blast will probably take out those two. This has got four damage. How much damage do you do? Three to five. So that will die on the next turn as well. Not worth one. Yeah. And you'll die when you get a go, which means you might as well heal you because you're bleeding. It's good. So the, the party heal skill seems to actually do more healing than the one on one heal. heal. Well, that was Jekra's heal, which is one to two. Oh, I see. He's not the healer. This is the healer. So the healer's got one to three on everybody, and Jekra's got one to three on a person. But it does. Uh. This doesn't cure anything. I'm just going to keep everyone topped up. And a crit on the heal didn't give anyone the stress benefit because no one's stressed out enough. Okay, okay. You're going to die, right? Yes. And I can't really reach you, <laughs> so I'm just going to have to. It would stress me out to skip my turn. Yeah. But I can do that. Only the strength to follow it. I can shoot you. Ha! <laughs> that was great shot blast. <laughs> I meant to do pistol shot. Oh, well, well, that's did the job. That's a thousand gold from that. So I feel like our oh. dark mission didn't actually uh, necessarily go as planned. <laughs> it didn't get us a huge amount of... Well, no, we killed two people, man. It didn't give us a huge amount of gold. It was very difficult. And costly. And costly. Did we bring bandages? We did. So we can put this here. Oh, fine. Oh, that's cool. Torch up. Go in. The torch increases the likelihood that the monsters in the room, provided there are any, are surprised. Of course, the very last room is the one we have to go to. Ah. 
I was just thinking, I brought all this food. Hmm. I always overdo food, to be fair. But I think it's it's like shovels. If you don't bring enough shovels, you end up digging through piles of rubble by hand and getting hugely stressed out by it. Hmm. And it's the same with food. If you don't bring enough food, you get two random ticks of hunger and you haven't got enough. Well, that's the thing. Isn't it? If you didn't, <clears throat> you bring it and nobody gets hungry. You don't bring it and everyone will get hungry three times in a row. Okay, so these things are surprised, which means they do get a go, but they get to go after we get to go. Right. So we should set this up properly. And I think we can stun a lot of them. You get a stun. You get a stun. You have a stun, and you have a stun. So we could stun all these, except my character can't. So which one do we start bleeding? Tracking shot. Seven, that uh, improves my shooting skills. Quite considerably. Let's do that. I like how I get to aim at some. Ah, oh, didn't realize it did damage. All right, I've learned something. We learned something today. So you're going to disorient... Ah, oh, no, you're going to get to stun one of them. Plague 2 or stun 1. I'm going to stun the one that does... This one can cause disease. That one, they both do stress. That one does stress and disease. Right. Which is bad in many respects. I could... It's kind of annoying that it moved. Because <laughs> now I can't stun that one. But these ones do a lot of uh, damage. So mm. I will stop them from turning to... And your chance to stun... We've actually got a 25% stun resist, so there's a chance that it doesn't work. But it did work, so this is the only thing that's going to get a turn. Which is a reasonably low stress attack. Just fives. And some people didn't even get affected by it. And I'm not sure what controls that. <clears throat> chance. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the die roll is. Because oh, it's not like they have a particular resistance to it. Right. Let's start bleeding things. Let's try and get rid of one of these that's taken damage. They've all taken basically the same amount of damage, but if it can die from bleed, then it won't leave a corpse and everything will shuffle forward. And of course we can just keep healing if necessary. Uh, well, it doesn't seem like you need to heal at the moment, so maybe get her to do some other stuff. Stun again. Do you have any buffs or debuffs? No, but she can... Apart from the stun. She can debuff something. No, sorry. Ugh. Yeah, that's a bit, a bit gross. <laughs> well, I mean, what did you expect? Uh, What's that dramatic profile skill do? Dramatic profile skill? The one skill. in slot 4. Tracking, oh, that's, that's the tracking one I shot myself in the first place. So now I've got good accuracy and a bit more damage, so... We've got a better chance of... If not one-shotting, then... Like, few-shotting. Mm. I think this will get rid of both. But I'd like that one to bleed to death. One damage per round, it's not going to happen. The thing is, it's a bleed is nice. <laughs> Thanks for continuing to bleed. Um, for when you don't quite hit hard enough. Yeah. But I want the bleed to do the kill. But I'm not waiting that long. Oh, because so then you don't have a corpse. Have to to deal with corpse. Although I can just disorient this and delete all the corpses. So that should work. Yeah. Oh, that's actually perfect. Because now it's shuffled around. It doesn't get a go. It's close by, so I can just slice it to death. Nine damage is good. Two and three. You need one more deep doing to you. No one's hurt badly enough for me to give a shit about. I can heal you. Heal myself. For a crit. Hmm. Crit this side and not that side. Good job. Uh, I could stun it or I could try and smite it. What's this? 10 to 19 has a reasonable chance of winning. Yeah, good. Nice. Ah, that was such a. That was a cake. Yeah, thanks for the shovel. It was a cake. I'm going to continue adventuring because I want to put. This key in that slot. Oh. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very worthwhile. Look, we've got um we've got maybe <laughs> two and a half grand's worth of stuff bring it back. We've got a lot of heirlooms, not a lot of heirlooms. We have some heirlooms. And heirlooms you need they're another form of like currency. They're the they're the things you upgrade town with. Yeah. So what did we get? Come on. Just get on with it. Okay. Nope. <laughs> yeah, you can see you don't really get too many of these. Yeah. You get plenty of those. Uh, okay, good. so... So 5,000, 5,500 gold altogether for that. Not bad. And uh, Ed is level 3. Meditator has replaced Beast Hater while camping. That's fine. And D is level 3. Winded. Hmm, that's D. Okay. 
That's not an awful skill. HP below 50 Quirk. on our healer is not likely to happen. The yeah. The well, she's at the back as well. She hardly got hit by anything during yeah. that. And minus one speed just means she has to heal at the end of the round rather than the start of the round, which, to be fair, I'm down with. Hmm. Okay, so no stress happened at all except a minor amount on D, but there's no way I'm not. There's no way I'm putting her in there uh, for recovery. So everyone is now available except Tim. Did I put you in for treatment? Me? No, Tim. Me, me? Uh, no, Tim, you didn't. Can I'm done. Let's put this in here. Can we upgrade the Abbey? Yes. Should I? No. I was hoping to reduce the price of it, but that didn't happen. Right, let's have a look at. Skills. No. Let's first have a look at what our options are, and then we can see if we want to upgrade a uh, party for the next next journey. So this usual suspects thing, is that something that's given you automatically because these are people you've taken out quite a few times? I think so. That's, I think it's because that's these, actually are the, really cool. these are the first two people we played with. And mm. I, it seems to be, on all the playthroughs I've seen, the usual suspects are the first few people that you get. Although I'm not quite sure it's with Jack Creeper, of course, the first people we got. One of them's dead. Yeah. Do they... Give you other names? There are some names. Oh. What happened there? Find out. Yeah, so they've oh, those so who have leveled, leveled up, up beyond up. everyone else and refused to do that mission. Ah. That's okay, we do have a um do have psycho here. So what's the max level they can get to? Dunno. Oh. Let's keep going. Get the feeling it's probably not gonna be too high. Well, Darkest Dungeon is still locked. And I, at least in early alpha, that was just an infinite dungeon. Right. Just kept going. But I'm not sure what it is now. So we have actually got a boss mission opened up because we did the Warrens to level 2. Oh, yeah. Um, Kill the Swine Prince. It's a medium one, so there will be a camp. But we have got a, a party that I think will, will suffice. Uh, although we need... Like we can level up Ash. We've already leveled up Ash. <laughs> huh. So we've got the two level two heals, which is really what we were after there. Hmm. I mean, this seems like a... Uh, sorry? Maybe it's just these two then. Or is it because I've got Jekry here? Take Jekry out and put someone else in. Yeah, so it's... um. don't know. Really don't know what causes that, but maybe hmm. it's just those three. Uh, that seems like a good party to level up. We've got seven... Th we're actually losing gold. Right, which is kind of annoying. So maybe I should start buying less stuff. Where we yeah, provision. I mean, you've hardly used most of the stuff. That most of the stuff you've yeah. taken. But as soon as I take less, it'll be a problem. <laughs> oh yeah. But I might start taking like less half a stack less uh, food, for example. Hmm. Um. Well, we've got fallen heroes. We've got living heroes. We've got new heroes, and we've got old heroes. And on the next one, maybe we'll look at. Uh, doing that boss fight. What do you Exciting. think? Yeah, fuck it. Do you want to be here for that? Yeah. Cool. James is here for that, so we'll do that now. <laughs> but not wait, now, no. now. You lot will don't, have to wait until the next break, episode. Don't break the fourth wall. We will do it in a week. Ooh, Ooh James is here tomorrow. <laughs> Which is true. Magic of YouTube. Hollywood. See you then.